What's up everyone? This is YouTube Ken. I wanted to do episode 3 of my software series and I wanted to go over the climate, how it all works and all of that. So we're going to get into that and one thing, stay tuned because I really wanted you not to make the mistake that I made. Basically, I was sitting in the car shooting a video. The car was locked and everything and it thought I wasn't in there and then I made a certain move inside the car and it just went ballistic. There's ways you can have the car still on. The first thing what we're gonna do, as you can see down here, that's the fan icon right there. And this is the temperature that you want your car to be in right here. You can set it either way you want, or you can hold it down, move it that way, to make it quicker instead of having to tap it like that. You can also hit sync and then you'll see the passenger temperature pop up and you can do manual on that side and you can change them however you want. So in a way to turn that off if you're just driving by yourself and the car should automatically do it and sense it but you can hit sync again and it just goes back to that. You have both passenger and your drivers heated seats. You can turn them off in different levels and there's a way you can turn them off all at once as well. So I'm going to hit the fan here and it pops up everything here. This is where to the left you can turn it off. If I hit it again it automatically turn back on, have it back up. You can tap here it automatically turn on that passenger side but it don't turn on the dual climate control for some reason but you can adjust it however you want and you'll hear something in the inside adjusting to the way you want it. So you can go it down, separate it like that however you want it and also on the driver's side as well up and down and that'll spread it out. And also down here this one right here is the windshield defroster and this one right here the back window defroster. You can kind of see the different shape so let's go back in here. You can set this to auto. You can hear the car starting because it's 92 degrees outside. But I'm going to turn auto off and you can manually control it however you want to. Over here to the side, this is basically the fan icon. What you clicked on down here so you can't really click it at all. But right here is where you access seat heaters. You can turn them all on. They'll be full force. You can turn them down one by one if you want. But if they're all on, you can just hit all off. It'll turn them all off. This is the different airflow that you can choose. So the one pointing up, that is dealing with the windshield. So you can shoot the airflow up to the windshield. Of course, this one, the one I have selected, is the face level vent. So it can shoot it towards your face. And then the bottom, that's of course for your feet. So that's pretty much that part. You can also schedule Whenever you want it to come on, your car will charge during off-peak hours and precondition. You can schedule when you're, you want your car to charge in this menu as well. So right here, you turn the AC on and off. If I turn it off, AC is off, of course. If I turn it back on, the AC is on. This right here is how you increase how you want it. So I'll go all the way down to 1. Then I can turn it all the way up. You might hear it so that shoots a lot of uh, the AC to you. So I'll turn that back down. As you know this is an electric car so a gas power car you might not hear the AC kick on as much especially at full blast but with this car it's very quiet so definitely it, you will hear it if you crank that air speed up. Just wanted to make that note. So this is the circulation of course. This is turned off air will circulate inside the vehicle. If it's turned on, it'll just recirculate in the vehicle. So this right here is what I didn't know the most whenever I was inside the car taping and the alarm went off because it sent someone in the car and it thought it wasn't anybody in the car and the car was pretty much turned off. I can hit on, just leave the climate on and it says climate will stay on after you leave the car. will turn off when battery reaches 20% and it's set to auto. So I'm going to turn that off because it's pretty loud. 
You can also set it to dog mode. And then that's when your dog is in the car, when you get out of the car. But once you get out of the car, close the door, it'll have this big letters on the screen that will basically tell you what the temperature is. It's okay. I forgot what it says. I'll show you a picture of it. And also you can go to camp mode. In camp mode, the car will stay on until the battery reaches 20% as well. Sentry mode, security alarm, and walkaway lock will be disabled. This camp mode will pretty much preserve as much battery as it can. I don't know how long it can go. Maybe that's another thing I can test out. Go camping or something. I don't know. So we're going to turn off that camp mode. Turn it to off. And the last thing right here, it shows another person behind this person. So basically what that means is you can turn on the AC or the heater for the back seat passengers. It should automatically come on if it senses someone, but if you turn it on, it'll turn their air on as well. So it's a lot of little settings in here. I like the format of it. I like how it shows how my car looks. It's pretty cool. If I missed anything, let me know. That's pretty much it of all the settings. If you have any questions, let me know. This episode three software series. This is YouTube Ken. I'll see you in the next video.